Mr. Jarvis with the homework help for February 6th uh, or 7th if you're doing taking us out in the morning uh, with us. So let's take a look at number one here. We're looking at um, uh, ratio tables and they're looking at uh, Dante's gum he likes is 60 cents each. So my first thing I like to do on these ratio ta tables is the easiest for me is to jump from uh, powers of 10. So let's go to 10. So 60 cents times 10 that would be six dollars so i'm going to write in six dollars here for 10 so that's six and then so 20 would be 12 12 bucks um i would like to then figure out five if 10 is six dollars five would be three dollars how many would be five i'd like to figure it out so i just half of that and if i could get the 10 and if I could figure out that six packs of gum was six, I mean, 10 packs of gum is six and five is three and 20 is 12 and I want 25. Uh, it's 12 plus three more dollars. So that would be 15. $15 for 25. And you could just kind of keep going. Uh, and then one 19, one less than 20 would be minus 60 cents so that'd be eleven dollars and 40 cents and one less than six would be five dollars 40 cents and i'll i'll let you do the rest on your own we've done a lot of these ratio tables and i've been kind of impressed with you guys on those so um writing out these numbers was so um 300 plus one tenth or ten hundredths plus four thousandths this is the tens hundredths thousandths looks like this so three hundred and one hundred if you put it all together four thousandths and this is it written out here and that's actually number names or words that's what they want you to do okay so 13 and 29 and this is the thousandths place and this is it written out here below i did it before um so go ahead that's those are i think we got that we've done pretty well with those decimals and then here we go just we're comparing fractions we can do two really easily the trick i found people had trouble when given three i don't really know why just we need to come just i think not being careful is the answer but he's got to compare it all if i had three here just do them very methodically four tens four tens five ones, five ones, zero tenths, one tenth. So the one tenth is larger than the zero tenth. So I start with the largest down the smallest. If there were three, I'd really have to like, and I had to write them in order. I'd just really be careful and methodical about it. Methodical about it. Five ones, five ones, zero tenths, five tenths. So this is larger than this one. Next one, one ten, one ten, nine ten, nine ten zero here's three and then finally seven tens though there are no tens here so this one is larger here all right so we got that one down i'll skip through so that's number eight for you uh let's take a look at number four i really like this problem abby's going to make a tie-dye tie-dye shirts for her class for a field trip each shirt costs 3.95 the dye for each shirt is 50 cents she also needs to buy two boxes of salt to add to the mix for 450 each so it's two times 450 she has 124 dollars and 70 cents how many tie-dye shirts can she make so uh the confusing thing here is this nine dollars here you could, first of all you got to figure out it's nine dollars what do we do with this nine dollars how do we figure that into the total price so whether she makes five shirts, it sounds like, or 20 shirts, she still has to buy this, this salt for $9. So what I'm going to do with that is just take that off the top. I'm going to subtract $129 from 124. So one, whoops, 124. Let's sign. Let me redo the, my problem here. 124 dollars and 70 cents minus nine dollars so i'll go ahead and write it out 124 70 minus uh so minus nine dollars 
Oh, I really don't only need to think 124 minus 9, and that would be 115. So we're going to say her total that she has now, she, that she had to buy that up front. So she has $115.70 to work with. Okay, so that's kind of an important number. So we we can't calculate this into each shirt without knowing how many shirts she made. But how much is each shirt now? So it's three ninety five for the shirt, and then you have to add fifty cents to each shirt. Just line up the decimal points. Okay, and that's going to be um, that's going to be four dollars and forty five cents. So here, so. So one shirt, I'm going to make a ratio table, is $4.45. So how many can she make? We could say 115.70 divided by 4 and $4.45. Or we could make a ratio table too. Um, so 10, I like to jump to 10. And I'll leave... Let's see, can she do 10? How much would 10 be? So 10 would be $44 and 50 cents. Well, she can make more than that. She can make more than twice as that. So how much is 20? So we can just double that. 44 plus 44 is 88. 50 cents, 50 cents is one more dollar. So that's going to be $89. So oh, she's making quite a few shirts here. $89 even. Um, 44.50 for 10. How many would five be? So could finish this ratio table. That would be 22, uh, 25. So can I add five more to the 20? It might be too many. I don't know. So if I added, uh, 22.50 to the five, um, I'll just go ahead. Um, so 89 plus 2250, it's going to give me 111 and 25 cents. That probably should do it, huh? Ooh. Oh, I got $15 here. So if I add one more shirt and go for 26, 111, $111 and 25 cents plus $4 and 45 cents. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I already did it. $115.70. She used all her money exactly. That's really highly unprobable. So what is it asking us to do? How many tie-dyed t-shirts can Abby make? The answer isn't $115.70. The answer is, be careful. Think about what they're asking you. She can make 26 shirts and how much money will she have left over no money left over okay so if you have any questions or anything uh let me know here's a um and good luck with that if you have any questions we'll talk about it tomorrow